Welcome to a special edition of Web Chat. Over this week, we're going to meet the mayoral candidates for the city of Woodstock. Joining me right now is the incumbent, Mayor Trevor Birch. And Trevor, what made you decide to uh, seek another term as the mayor of Woodstock? I have spent a number of years preparing for this role that I currently am enjoying. I love this city and I love my job spending uh, almost over a decade taking all of the courses to understand all the nuances that take place between city politics and Oxford County politics as well as working on those relationships with our federal and provincial counterparts and we have many irons in the fire right now the future has never been brighter for the friendly city and with a new government in power in Toronto I want to continue to work on those relationships that we've established with the bureaucrats to continue to make sure that the legislation that is shaped by the province is a benefit here to the citizens of the friendly city. Now part of the reason for the web chats is to get to know our candidates a little bit. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your connection to the city, and just uh, a little bit about Trevor Birch. Well, our family was one of the founding families here in Oxford County. Uh, the original house for the homestead is where the current YMCA is and so my children are seventh generation Woodstock and I have worked in the community helping business when I worked at the bank. I have also worked for municipal government at the County of Oxford supplying the financial data for senior level governments as well as for the mayors to make the decisions on 21 water systems and nine wastewater systems, waste management and other issues that are important to the quality of life of all of the individuals here in our city. Um, Trevor, you got to serve as mayor for one term. Um, and tell us a little bit about your vision for the city and, and you know where you see Woodstock moving in the future. We have seen unprecedented growth here in the city over the last few years. We're beating the provincial average, the federal average. And as you drive around the city right now, you see piles of dirt in every corner. Each pile of dirt represents new families coming to our city to enjoy a quality of life that you can't find elsewhere in southwestern Ontario. It also represents new jobs and new industries coming here. One of the things that I look forward to is taking care of all of the generations here in our city and thinking long term outside of the election cycle. So. Over the past few years, I've continued to meet with people at the doorstep, at the coffee shop, at their businesses, and continue to see what it is that we want to be for the next generation. We want to make sure that our young people have a reason when they're finished school to come back to the city and start a family, have a job, and be part of all of the great community partners volunteering, making a difference here. Um, when you're out campaigning and, and, and preparing for this, what what are some of the biggest issues you're hearing um, from the people and you know what are some of the big issues in this election? Well we have some issues around city governance such as the recreation needs uh, so when you look at the Southgate Center and they're bursting at the seams and we look at the census data and we know that we have so many active seniors here in our community and more to come as our population continues to age and City Council has uh, recently taken over the Cowan Park with the soccer fields and the walking track and we know that we need to do a little bit of a rejigging on our entire plan to make sure that we service both the needs of the young people that play soccer as well as the seniors that are looking for the programming. That was all the questions I had for you uh, Trevor but was there anything you wanted to add? One thing I'd like to add is previous council had started an initiative for the University of Ottawa and when I took office as mayor, I worked alongside the other mayors at the County of Oxford to expand that vision to uh, try and attract that campus. And we were looking at something that would take place at the entire county square grounds. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to be successful in that bid, but over the last three years, we've continued to work on a sustainability cluster. So we've had the International Renewable Energy Academy come here to Woodstock to do experiential learning around our community and this represents PhD students from over 30 countries around the world and many partnerships with universities here in Ontario, Canada and the United States. So what we're looking at now and what I'd like to continue to work on is creating that cluster, a neutral territory where PhD and master's students from all over can come and collaborate and do research together. 
and I believe this would put us at the leading edge and help us influence our neighbors to make good decisions for the future as well. Excellent. Great stuff. I want to thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we will also be talking with the other candidate for mayor, uh, Sean Chapton. Uh, best of luck in the upcoming election, Trevor, and I'm sure we'll be chatting soon. Make sure to join us again next time for another edition of Web Chats.